Let's take a couple of moments and we'll check out the Sirius XM operation on Pioneer's FHX 830BHS. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may or may not have a CD slot across the top like this one, the on-screen and button operation is identical for the following Pioneer models. FHX 730BS, FHX 830BHS, and MVHX 690BS. Please note, in this video, I'll be using the optional SXV300 tuner from SiriusXM. And the tuner plugs into the back of the in-dash receiver, where you have full operation from the tuner right from the front of the receiver. Okay, so how do we change a channel on SiriusXM? There's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, the first thing is we can just hit the arrow buttons. That'll take us to the next available channel. Another way that we can do that is to press the magnifying glass. And this takes us to our program list where we can scroll through here and choose a, uh, a program category. Press enter to open that category and now you can choose a channel within that category. Like we'll go to the Real Jazz channel here. That'll take us directly to that channel. If I want to change the information displayed on the screen, all I have to do is touch the display button. The time behind function here shows where we are in the buffer. Since I changed that channel, we are no time behind. But if we go to another channel, and we check that function, you can see that we are 1 minute 42 behind the, the live broadcast. We'll continue to touch the display button here, where we're back around to Sirius XM number one, one with the clock the spectrum analyzer, and back around to our channel info. To create a radio station preset, the first thing I want to do is choose my Sirius XM band, and I can do that by touching the band button here. Right now we're on Sirius XM 1, that's Sirius XM number 2, and Sirius XM number 3, and back around to Sirius XM number 1. So at, I can just tune in another channel here, for example, Symphony Hall, and we can press and hold the radio station preset for uh, number two in this case for a couple of seconds. When that stops flashing, I've locked in channel 76 or Symphony Hall into radio station preset number two. So you get 18 uh, presets for Sirius XM, six on each of the bands. Let's check the function menu for a couple of other cool items here. We'll touch in on the volume control and we'll go to the function menu and press enter. Operation mode is for two options here, going through channel mode or going through replay mode. And again, don't forget that uh, replay mode can be operated by pressing and holding the display button for a couple of seconds. We'll leave that on channel mode for right now and we'll go back. Next up is tune mix and right now tune mix is turned off. We can choose to turn tune mix on here if we want to. Tune Mix creates a channel that is a blend of the songs that are made up from your current SiriusXM presets. So all the music that is in the buffer will be blended together for you so you can hear a, uh, a playlist of those songs. And you can turn Tune Mix on or off right here. We'll leave it off for right now and we'll roll over to the next setting which is Tune Scan. And Tune Scan plays a short preview of all of the songs that are in your buffer on the current six presets and lets you hear what's been playing on those channels. If you hear anything you like, you can press in on the volume control and jump directly to that song. We'll roll over to the next setting here, which is Tune Start. And Tune Start means every time I touch one of my radio station presets, the current six band presets, uh, the song that I hear will start from the beginning. Now it takes Tune Start a couple of minutes to buffer up some of the songs, but once that's done, after five or ten minutes or so, every time you touch one of your current radio station presets, the song you hear will start from the beginning. And we'll roll over to the next setting, which is our parental controls. Certain channels on Sirius XM can have adult content, and if you would like to control who can hear that adult content, here you can put in a passcode uh, that, uh, that, that locks those adult channels. We'll go back for right now and roll over to our next setting.
which is our play and pause function at any time on any channel you can choose to uh, hit pause and pause live radio and touch that again to pick up right where you left off we'll roll over to the next setting which is back around to our operation mode and we'll touch the band button to go back Let's take a look now at the buffer system that's built into the tuner. Uh, by the buffer system, I mean it's kind of like working with your DVR on your TV at home where you can go back in time and listen to the music that's been stored on the buffer while you have had your car up and running. So uh, there's a couple of different ways to get to the buffer system. The first way is touching on the volume control. and We're going to go to the function menu. Here's the function menu and press enter and net we want to look for operation mode here's operation mode and we'll press enter there we have two choices here under operation mode we have the channel or we have the replay mode so we want to try the replay mode for right now we'll press enter and now we can just press the band button to go back and that takes us out here you can see under beside SXM we have a graph showing how much buffer uh, we have built up there and that'll go out to the end here which is about an hour of buffer time and the buffer stores the information that is on your current Sirius XM band. So we're on Sirius XM band number one with these six radio station presets. All six of those presets are in the buffer. Now I'm on preset, I'm on the Bluesville channel right here uh, now, and you can see I'm at the end of the buffer. But if I press the go back button here, I skip backwards. You can see I'm starting to enter into the buffer. I'm skipping backwards by songs. Now if I skip backwards maybe five or ten songs, you can see that we're going well back into the buffer and we're beginning a song. It's almost like you have a CD or a, uh, MP, uh, a uh, USB drive in there and you're skipping between songs and going through your own playlist. So this is available on each of the radio stations on the current Sirius XM band. So we'll go to uh, number three here and you can see that we are back in the buffer on number three as well. If you ever want to go back to live music, there's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, again, we can go back into the function menu, and we can switch here uh, under operation mode. We can switch back to the channel. But for right now, I'm going to leave that on replay mode, and we'll show you another way to make the switch. It's much easier this way. If I just press and hold the display button for a couple of seconds, you'll see that we'll switch this back to channel mode. So pressing and holding the display button, we can toggle between replay mode and channel mode. Another way that you can operate your Sirius XM tuner through your FHX A30 BHS is using Pioneer's ARC app. The ARC app will work on your iPhone or your Android phone, and it's a free download from Pioneer. Just search the, uh, the App Store or search Google Play for Pioneer ARC and install that on your phone. And here you can see we can get to our radio station presets. We can scroll between channels. We can go directly to the replay mode. and we can go directly to uh, the live live music let's go back directly to the channel mode and we can change our Sirius XM band down here as well for more information about the ARC app please be sure to check out the full ARC app video for your particular phone type either iPhone or Android phone